हेलो डियर चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक टू अवर गुरुदेव ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन प्रीवियस पार्ट स्टडी अबाउट द लेसन द एनिमल डॉक्टर इन दैट पार्ट द पैरेट पॉलिनेशिया टीच टू द डॉक्टर एनिमल लैंग्वेज द पैरेट टीच द एनिमल लैंग्वेज टू डॉक्टर यस ही टीच द एबीसीडी ऑफ एनिमल्स एट द टाइम इज फेवरेट डॉग came to came to doctor and he scratched the ear polynesia told to the doctor look at him he want to talk to you but doctor did not oblige no he just scratching his ears he is not barking the polynesia told like this is the difference between human and us we animals don't use our mouth always we used to shaking the we animals we used to talk the shaking the tails wings yeah, shaking the heads these are the action we are made to understand our feelings to the others but people did not understand our feelings doctor or doctor dolittle understand the polynesia's word soon he became a mastery over the long ways of animals with the help of polynesia hence he want to become a full time vet now as said by the meat man he also spread the news of doctor dolittle want to become a animal doctor he he want to change his profession from people's doctor to animal doctor he spread far and wide he spread all the people's who delivery or who get meats for their pets and he also informed the farmers also one who had a sick horses and lambs they also bring their pets sick pets to the doctor dolittle as soon as the patients uh, animals increased in the doctor dolittle's clinic one day doctor dolittle led to a farm ho- farm horse the horse was so relieved to meet the doctor dolittle yes he felt very happy he is understand his feelings as well as he is talking the animals language or horse language with the horse then only horse complained about their illness as as well as he complained to the doctor dolittle like i i am going blind in one eye but earlier vet did not see even my eye but they give treatment to other parts yes they give big pills from 6 weeks i did not cure my eyes i want one pair of spectacles to protect from the sun rays when i plogging in the field i get injured in my eyes so i want one pair of spectacles please give me a pair of spectacles the horse back to the doctor dolittle doctor dolittle also mobilized and told to the horse like okay i will get you pair of spectacles don't worry the horse felt so happy yes dear children people thought the trick it is easy to become an animal doctor because no one animal can complain about the treatment or about the illness but clever and kind hearted one who loves the animals become a good doctor for the animals okay what happened in the next what about the horse let us see John Dolittle kept his promise. He got a fine big pair of green spectacles made especially for the horse that could now see as well as o ever. Soon other farm animals too were commonly seen wearing glasses in the country around Padalbai.
Soon more and more animals were brought to him. As soon as the animals found that there was a vet who could speak to them in their language, they told him where the pain was and how they felt, so he could cure them ailments easily. All these animals spread the word and soon all creatures that fell sick came to him. Right from the smallest harvest mice and water voles to horses and cows from the neighboring farms came to Dr. Dolittle. Animals queuing up in his big garden to try to see him was a common sight. As the number of animals coming to him increased, Dr. Dolittle had separate doors, doors made especially for each kind. The horses came through the front door, the cows through the side and the sheep through the kitchen door. He even had a tunnel leading from the cellar to his consulting room made for the mice. They would wait patiently there for Dr. Dolittle to attend to each of them. Word spread far and wide, birds who flew to other countries in the winter told their friends in foreign lands of the wonderful doctor of Pudalbai who could understand their speech and treat their illness. Through Dr. Dolittle was now famous among all over the world. Do you think he really cared for fame? He was just happy doing what he lacked best, taking loving care of his animal friends. This is how to be read the lesson. John Dolittle kept his promise. He got a fine big pair of green spectacles made especially for the horse that could now see as well as they were. Soon other farm animals too were commonly seen wearing glasses in the country around Pudalbai. Yes, the doctor Dolittle gave a pair of spectacles to the horse. The spectacles protect from the sun rays when the horse plowing in the field. Then only horse very relieved and he felt very happy. He get a medicine in the form of a spectacles. Okay. He got a fine big pair of green spectacles. Yes, he the horse already told to Dr. Dolittle, I want a spectacles like you, but that one in green color. So, Dr. Dolittle made a spectacle for the horse in green color. Especially for the horse that could now see as well as soon other farm animals to work. Other, other horses wanted to meet the Dr. Dolittle. Yes, they also get injured from so many things. They also need a spectacle. So they also wanted to visit the Dr. Dolittle. See, wearing glasses in the country around the Pudalbai. This, this news spread around the Pudalbai, the city. The uh, horse, while the horse get a spectacles, this news spread around the Pudalbai. Soon more and more animals were brought to him. As soon as the animals found that there were a vet who could speak to them in their language. They told him where the pain was and how they fight so he could cure their elements easily. Soon and more animals were brought to him. When Dr. Dolittle made a green spectacle to the horse, the horse get relieved from the pain and he told and he told to other animals the Dr. Dolittle was speaking to me. He is understand our language. He is speaking the animal's language. This message spread far and wide. They told him where the pain was and how they felt so he could cure their elements easily. Yes, when the animals interacted with the doctor, the doctor understand the language and they understand the animals, sick animals, where did they feel, where did they feel the pain and how I can treat the animals. It is easier to doctor while they understand the animal language. Hence, the doctor Dolittle became very famous veterinary doctor. All these animals spread the word and soon all creatures that fell sick came to him. 
right from the smallest harvest mice and water holes to horses and cows from the neighboring farms came to Dr. Dolittle animals queuing up in his big garden to try to see him was a common sight. All these animals spread the word and soon all creatures that fell sick came to him. When the animals spread the news about the Dr. Dolittle, one who speaks the animal's language, the animals are eagerly wanted to visit the Dr. Dolittle. Yes, mice and water wolves, horses and cows from the neighboring farms. Dr. Dolittle, to the Dolittle, animals queuing up to his big garden to try to see him. Yes, animals are eagerly wanted to visit the Dr. Dolittle. They made a big line. They made a big queue to see the Dr. Dolittle. Even they didn't seek, but they wanted to visit the Dr. Dolittle, one who speak the animal's language. They are very excited to meet the animal doctor, Dr. Dolittle. They, they wanted to see. They also wanted to talk with the animal doctor, Dr. Dolittle. As the number of animals coming to him increased, Dr. Dolittle had separate doors made especially for each kind. The horses came through the front door, the cows through the side and the sheep through the kitchen door. He even had a tunnel leading from the cellar to his consulting room made for the mice. They would wait patiently therefore, Dr. Dolittle to attend to each of them. Dr. Dolittle loves animals so much he understands the way of thinking animals and he also understand feelings of animals he made his he made his home his clinic hence he made a special entrance for variety of animals like you erase this one is Dr. Dolittle's place. Okay, one who treat the animals, he will sit in the place. He made a, so many entrances for the variety of animals. Like sheep, he made a entrance for sheep from the kitchen door. He made a entrance for cows from the side door. He made a entrance for horses for the front door and he made an entrance for mice for tunnel one who lived or one who loved to live in a tunnel mice are very loved to live in a tunnel so he made a tunnel for the mice because they also wanted to wait for the doctor do little patiently Hence, he made a plan and he made a comfortable entrance for these animals. Okay. Word spread far and wide. Birds who flew to other countries in the winter told, for, told their friends in foreign lands of the wonderful doctor of Kudalbai who could understand their speech and treat their illness. Word spread far and wide. The message of Dr. Dolittle, like one who speaks with the animals and, and he understands the feelings of animals and he treat well to the animal. This message spread far and wide. Birds, what is meant by far and wide? Over large area. Okay. Birds who flew to other countries in the winter told their friends in foreign lands whenever the world go migration whenever the bird went for the migration means wala say okay the birds wanted to get a suitable the birds wanted to get a suitable place for their reproduction what suits for them so they went the migration from one place to another place. Okay. The bird migrate from one uh, city to another or one country to another. They also told about the fame, the popularity of Dr. Dolita. They told the other countries birds like one of the doctor, one who understands the 
animals language and he understand the feelings of the birds and animals so other countries birds are wanted to visit the doctor dolittle hence the popularity spread about the apart from the country foreign lands also a wonderful doctor of kudal bai who could understand their speech and treat their illness so the doctor dolittle was now famous among animals all over the world do you think he really cared for fame he was just happy doing what he liked best taking loving care of his animal friends the doctor dolittle was now famous among animals over the world yes he became a famous and popular doc animal doctor among the world yes dear children he did not care fame or money in the in that field he just do his job with lot of affection sacrifice and concentration then only he get a popularity as well as wealth immediately okay taking loving care of his animals friends he was just happy doing what he liked best this is best word in the lesson whatever we do we did not think that one is job small or big we want just to do happy happy doing what we liked best okay dr dolittle did the same he was just happy doing he was just happy what he was liked hence he become more popular among the country dear children this is all about this lesson the animal doctor as dr john dolittle who lived in a the city called padal bai in the marsh he lived in a small house but he had a big garden this shows how much he loves the animals he want to give a space more in his house hence he made a big garden in his house yes he had a assortment of all sizes of animals assortment means varieties yes like goldfish mice rabbits owl horses dog duck whenever they see a variety of animals they bring to his home hence the number of animals increased in his clinic so the patients afraid from the animals hence they did not want to visit the dr dolittle's clinic after the one happened yes one of the one old woman who had joint pains want to visit the dr dolittle but she did not notice the hedgehog sleeping on the sofa he sat on the hedgehog she get injured from the hedgehog so he did not want to dr dolittle clinic again the people are wanted to search another doctor in the city so his uh, sister sara complained about grumbled about the animals and as well as grew uh, so as well as fever patient yes she cleaned so many times but his clinic become messy again from the animals but dr dolittle did not care about these words from the sister yes he want to keep his animals in the clinic but one of the me one of the man he never complained or he never afraid from the animals present in the dr dolittle's clinic yes he was meat man one who delivered the meat daily to the pets present in the dr dolittle clinic yes even he had a lot of animals in his house so he did not care or did not afraid the animals one day the meat man get stomach pain 
so he wanted to medicine from the doctor dolittle so he came to doctor dolittle clinic why the doctor dolittle placing the flower pots on the window sill to get the uh, rain he know how much important rain water to the plants so he placed the flower pots on the window sill he loves plants very much as well as animals too hence by seeing all these things the meat man told to the doctor dolittle why don't you become a animal doctor instead of people doctor but doctor dolittle did not obelize at once he told so many vets are in the city what can i do why i became a animal doctor how can i understand the animals language and how can i understand their feelings but meat man did not uh, accept these words no you love animals so much you understand the way of thinking of animals you know so much about the animals you must treat the animals it is benefit to you and benefit to you who will but dr dolittle told who will bring the sick pets to me the people are no i am a people's doctor i am not a veterinary doctor don't at the time meet my told don't worry about the thing i will inform the all people one who delivered the meat to daily to his pets hence uh, the meat man told i i deliver it daily meat to the pets i told to them and i will also inform the farmers also one who had sick horses and lambs they will bring the animals to you then only you treat us so they saying the words the meat man left after polynesia also very much interested in this matter she also told to the doctor the meat man is rightly spoken you must become an animal doctor you love animals so much and you understand their feelings very well dr dolittle did not oblige the polynesia's words but he also told the same so many vets are present in the city i am i how can i understand the animals language and how can i treat of course people are talking to me so i will give treatment which part they feel the pain but how can i understand animals language they did not speak but polynesia told the doctor don't worry about that i will teach you the abc of the animals and languages of animals the doctor also very eager to learn the animals language he rushed over and get back with a notebook and pen and he noted down what polynesia teach so he became a master over the animals language and he now want to become a full time vet now with the help of polynesia yes the message spread over all the country like dr dolittle who want to become an animal doctor he want to change his profession from people doctor to animals doctor the people are eager to want to visit the doctor dolittle they bring their animal to his clinic and he treat well they get relief from their pain hence he become very famous in a short time one day dr dolittle led a plow horse in the farm the horse had a pain in his one eye he was going blind in one eye but his earlier doctor even he did not see in his eyes he gave a big pills to the horse from six weeks six weeks so the horse did the horse feet the horse felt very pain in eyes whenever he saw the doctor dolittle he felt very happy about him 
Yes, he could understand their feelings and understand their pain. He also talked with Dr. Doliter like my earlier vet gave a uh, earlier vet gave us these big pills to me. It is did not work out for my pain of eyes. I need a pair of spectacles. Please give me. The doctor Doliter understand the pain of horse and which place he felt the pain. He promised to his promised to horse like I will get a pair of spectacles. The horse told like I will I want spectacles like you but green in color. The doctor Doliter get the pair of spectacles which are in green color to the horse. Yes, the spectacle protect from the sun rays. Hence, he did not injured from the so, so hence it, it did not get injured from the sun rays while they were spectacles. This message spread war and wide to animals to animals. So animals are wanted to visit Dolittal to for their uh, uh, animals are wanted to visit a Dr. Dolittal. Yes, they also wanted to see how he speak with the animals and so many animals, one who have a, um, have one who sick animals are also wanted to see for the treatment. Yes, they made a big queue in front of his, in front of the Dr. Dolita clinic. Dolita, Dr. Dolita was very fond of his animals. So he may and he also understand the feeling of animals. So he made his home a big clinic. Yes, he made a, so many varieties of entrance for the animals. Yes, the sheep from the they made an entrance for sheep from the kitchen door. She made an entrance cows from the side door. He made an entrance for horses from the front door, and he made an entrance for mice from the tunnel. Tunnel means villa. In Canada we call villa. Okay. This message about the Dr. Dolittle, how he look after the animals, how he treat the animals and he, how he understand the feeling or language of animals spread the far and wide. Apart from the country also. Yes, whenever the birds flew country to country. I already told it is called migration. When the birds flew another country from the Padalbai, they told to another birds which one lived in another country. Like here Dr. Dolittles, he is very good doctor for the animals. He also speaks the animals and birds language also. The this country's uh, birds also wanted it wanted visited to Dr. Dolittle. Now his popularity spread among the country. The Dr. Dolittle now became a very famous and very kind doctor to the animals. He never think his fame or money making money in his profession. He just love their profession and he just do with lot of sacrifice and dedication then only he become more popular and he get also wealth without any expectation this is all about this lesson thank you